pilots drain man here and today I'm excited. I really, really am because we are going to take the smallest, the idiotiest, bittiest, tiniest, strongest, most fastest whoop with no ducks, no nylon plastic frame. It's going to be a carbon fiber frame. We're going to take this little whoop. We're going to build it. We're not going to make it analog. We're going to make it HD and we are going to shred. You are not going to want to miss this. Let's go. All right, pilot. So here's the deal. We all know what whoops are. Whoops are whoopity whoop. Actually, I got one here. Here is a whoop. This is what a whoop looks like. It's just a little tiny guy, but it's all plastic and squishy. And you got your stack in the middle, camera, ELRS or crossfire. You've got your VTX, usually analog, and it's all wrapped up in this cute little bow. And you can just have the most fun in the world. But this like plastic flimsy frame does come at a price. I'll even show you an example. <laughs> This is what happens after just enough crashes because it's plastic. What do you expect? So I came across this frame, not new, but super sick by Fractal Engineering. And I just, I had to have one, at least for myself. I know this is going to turn this into a lot of fun. This is a little carbon fiber frame and look what you get. You just get this little thin strip of TPU and a carbon fiber frame and that's all you need for an amazing little ripper. I'm so stoked and I can't wait to put this together. But I wanted to take it one little step further and how I'm going to do that is I'm not going to run analog and I'm not going to run FR Sky or whatever this has on it. I am going to run ELRS so I've got plenty of range and then I'm going to run HD footage so I can see crystal clear footage through my video goggles off a one cell battery. That is just one little one cell, 450 milliamp hour. So what do we got here? We've got our one SHD walk snail. It's got antenna, camera, and a stack ready to go. And then you get the little carbon fiber frame. And in my mind, I mean, this is probably just as lightweight and it's going to be 10 times sturdier. It's going to be 10 times stronger. And my flight characteristics are going to be better because there's no sloppy plastic. Just blah, 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 blah. All right. So for our stack, I've got a magnificent stack here. This is a beta FPV stack with ELRS built into it. You can see the antenna right there. And that thing is weighs and feels and looks like just about nothing. So there's your stack. And then last but not least to make all the magic happen is going to be our motors. Look how tiny and cute these little guys are. <laughs> so they are beautiful red and black and they are also by Beta FPV. They are a 1102 18,000 kV. My props are a 40 millimeter uh, tri-blade, 1635s if you are interested. And let's get to work. Now, in order to make all this work, what I've got to do is stack these two but I don't want them touching because that's just a recipe for disaster. So what I'm gonna probably do is put some sort of spacer in between and build myself a little Big Mac stack and then we should be ready to roll. I'm gonna need my motor plugs facing upward because if they're downward, it's gonna hit. So that means that I need to solder any connections, which this one's done, but I do need to solder these two together. And in order to do that, I need access to what's actually the top side, but I'm gonna make it the bottom side. So I need to go ahead and solder that up real quick. So let's grab our iron. We'll grab some fresh solder. And let's go ahead and tin these up. That's not the tip I want to use on something so small. Uh. So if you're not familiar with Heiko, that's what I use. Bow. I have the FX951 and it's an incredible machine. I've got a link down in the video description. And then I've got like 30 freaking uh, tips. Let me show you. <laughs> Look at all those. Bow. 
If you got big solder and little solder and precise solder and long solder and fat solder and short solder, doesn't matter what solder you got, you got all your options right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the T15. I believe. Ah! Oh! <laughs> well, don't do that at home. <laughs> Ouch. It was hot because I plugged it in and then I forgot I plugged it in. Ouch! <laughs> That's going to hurt tomorrow. We're going to go negative first. Okay, so that's nice and strong. Now we're going to go positive. Let's move these two out of the way. Positive. So TX is going to be our yellow, and RX is going to be our white. So I'll bring that in. And make sure you got a good joint. Because you don't want these coming off. Okay. Alright, let's check them. Oh, yeah. Small and hard to work with. Okay. Wow, look at that. And that is on tight. And I can always zip tie right here and then plug it in bam all right so i'm going to go ahead and put the other three on but i'm not going to bore you to death so i'm going to put those on and then i'll meet you back here oh, 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 oh. look at that that is like <laughs> it's like all motors and a little bit of frame that's just so cool I'm excited to try this, I can't wait. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take this, and I mean, we're gonna literally just bloop, place it right there. <laughs> and then I, all I should have to do is plug in my motors and I'm done. Oh, I got it backwards, okay. So right there, boy. I wonder if I should put them all. Now nah, let's do one because the screw screws into the carbon so i got to be got to be precise oh oh okay we're looking good we're looking good <laughs> looking good all right let's go ahead and plug in these motors so this one go Oh boy, we're in trouble. Ooh, I'm in trouble. Okay, we're going to need plan B on the wires here. That's it, nothing I can do about it. This is coming apart. Okay, looks like I can get them by taking off the plastic and then cutting off the metal. I don't even want to get into it. I had to pull everything apart and remove all of the plugs and then I went ahead and trimmed, stripped, soldered, we're, we're good, okay? And then I just slapped it back on real quick so I don't want to drive you nuts. So that's what I did. All I did was rip off the plugs and then I took the wires and I soldered them only because by the time they looped up and over and down, they were just pulled too tight and it was leaving a big old thing here. So I feel like I'm gonna rip this. Yeah, this is not how you do this. Oh, okay. 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 God, I hope this isn't wrong. Seems kind of loose. Let's try making it to the next one. Oof. Okay. I made it to the next one. Okay, so that's tighter. Okay. <laughs> and then this goes 
up and over. So I need to come down. And I come down. So maybe that's why they give you two. <sighs> Holy moly, this thing has sent me through the ringer, but I'm back on track. I had to put my bolts through. They were a little long. I tried to clip them. We're working with small M2 tiny little nookies and crannies. It just, so I went ahead and used my Dremel and I filed them down. You can see nice and pretty like. So the only thing we need to do now is reset our uh, battery holder, which I don't even have to do. If I wanted to, I could just rubber band or whatever, but I don't want to do that. I want to follow the design. Oh. Okay. Probably supposed to use a dipole, but I want excellent footage. So, I'm going to run mine. One, I'm gonna run reverse props. Let's compare something that is more appropriate, right? That is a 75, this is a seven, this is a 75. So we got a 75 and a 75, cause we just really went 75 to 65. So let's go 75, 75. Ah, uh, <laughs> see what I'm saying? 32, 32. So 32 to 32 is what we're looking at on 75, 75. So that means that this doesn't weigh more than something, you know, competitive to its size class. But it is so much more than just a bunch of plastic. I mean, watch, watch. Let me show you. Do you see this? I mean, don't get me wrong, that's, it's actually quite impressive, but that ain't happening. <laughs> okay, wow. I just got done flying. These are the walk snails. I think they're the OGs because there's like a new model now. But good God, we just took this thing for a rip outside. I mean, I savagely ripped. I hit the fence a few times. I crashed multiple times. I can't even keep track of what I did. But what I did is I jumped into beta flight. I set everything up. I bound my VTX to my goggles. And then I bound my ELRS to my TX-16 Max, and man, I set everything up, put my normal little rates on it, and this thing flies. I mean, if I had to say, probably like a 3S or a 4S, and I'm just out there shredding, and I'm thinking, God, this is a 1S quad. Like, I'm supposed to be flying this inside through, like, little gates and whoopie doopies. No, I'm going through full-blown trees. I'm power looping. I'm doing the works outside with wind i <laughs> just absolutely incredible this has blown me away and this has made me want to push a little bit further so jump down in the comments and let me know who's interested in maybe beefing this up a bit maybe we'll go to step two and we'll make this a 2s or a 3s and really see what we can do with this i i'd be curious to find out but only if you guys are interested i hope that you guys had as much fun as i did i'm going to go ahead and link some flight footage for you guys I hope that you guys will go get your own mean, challenging, racing monster. This little guy is just a 1S animal. And it was a blast on HD. I'm really glad I did that. And I will see you on the next one. Stretch my legs, eat some breakfast, milk and eggs. Brush my teeth up, wash my face. Throw my clothes on, start my day. Wake up. I can smell the smoke from the bacon yum, yum, yum. Let's go, see the sun shining from the windows yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I know that today will be a good day no, no, no. Okay, I know that today will be a good day yeah, yeah. A, B, C, one, two, three Drink some water, brush my teeth Get out of bed and I stretch Bed in my hair is a mess Look through my clothes for a fit Anything I do is drip 
Feel like a kid when I'm TikTok and I still keep it real as it is I show my age, I don't switch often, I'm just as a dad as it gets Try taking naps with my kids, talking, I'm guessing this life how it is And I can't wait for the weekend, keep jammies on like I'm a kid Wake up, get up, stretch my legs Eat some breakfast, milk and eggs Brush my teeth up, wash my face Throw my clothes on, start my day Wake up I can smell the smoke from the bacon yum, yum, yum. Let's go, see the sun shining from the windows yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I know that today will be a good day no, no, no. Okay, I know that today will be a good day yeah, yeah, yeah. Feel good, feel great, can't complain Look out my window, see birds and planes Sun's out, some clouds, it might rain Siblings on my nerves, on my nerves again Summertime go for a swim Wintertime go grab a sled Spring I might need an umbrella Fall back in school with my friends Attitude change like the weather My mom tell me it never ends Like clocks we evolve in a circle Every 12 months we do it again Wake up, get up, stretch my legs Eat some breakfast, milk and eggs Brush my teeth up, wash my Face, throw my clothes on, start my day. Wake up, get up, stretch my legs. Eat some breakfast, milk and eggs. Brush my teeth up, wash my face. Throw my clothes on, start my day.